The Firefox logo isn't a fox. There is a common misbelief that because the browser is named Firefox, the logo must be a fox. Surprisingly, the cute furry creature in the logo is actually a red panda. The first Apple logo isn't what you would think. Originally, it featured Sir Isaac Newton sitting beneath a tree, with an apple about to fall on his head. It was designed back in 1976 and featured a phrase around the border which read Newton. A mind forever voyaging through strange seas of thought. Alone. Seems kind of dark. Google rents out goats. You read that right, instead of mowing their lawn, Google rents goats to eat the grass at their Mountain View headquarters. A herder will bring 200 goats which are herded by a border collie named Jen, the name for robot has dark origins. If you look into the etymology of robot, it comes from the Czech word robota which translates to force to labor or work. The word was first used to refer to a fictional humanoid in a play in 1920. The first ever VCR was the size of a piano. When the first VCR, video camera recorder, was made in 1956, it was the size of a piano. Way bigger than I would have guessed. Samsung is 38 years and one month older than Apple. Samsung was founded as a grocery store on March 1, 1938, by Lee Byung Chul. Apple founders Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak created Apple Computer Incorporated on April 1, 1976. A petabyte is a lot of data. We all know one gigabyte is the same 1024 megabytes, but did you know that one petabyte, PB, is equivalent to 1024 terabytes, TB? Domain name registration used to be free. Way back when people didn't realize how huge the internet would be, registering a domain name was free until 1995. When a fee was introduced, it was high. Prices were typically $100 for two years of registration. Megabytes used to weigh hundreds of pounds. More specifically, 5 megabytes of data weighed 1 ton. In 1956, the first computer had something similar to a hard drive. The radio took. At the time, it was a huge leap in storage capabilities, but the cabinet that contained the hard drive weighed over 2,200 pounds and could hold 5 MBs of data. The radio took 38 years to reach an audience of 50 million. You would think the invention of the radio would be a big deal. But it took 38 years for the radio to reach an audience of 50 million. Meanwhile, the iPod only took three years to reach the same milestone. 